They moved in Memorial Weekend, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we did. Boom! Got that bug. Yeah, we hey guys, welcome back. Bus Buccaneers coming to you live from Scarlet the Schoolie. We are sorry we have not checked in for about a month now because our lives have been flipped upside down. We finally sold our house a few weeks ago and we've been living in the bus. We have not had a chance to update the vlog because we've been updating a lot of what's going on with the bus. So we've been on the bus for about a month now and over the past month we've been digging into a lot of issues. We took out the pink carpet and we put in new flooring. The pink carpet was horrible. Disgusting was, and stinky. A lot of you guys didn't see the photos of the pink carpet. The pink carpet was pink shag about this big. It was beautiful. Quite amazing. So the pink carpet's gone. Um, we put in a new bathroom sink, which was leaking and broken and stained yellow and nasty. Deep cleaned everything, took everything apart, cleaned it all out. There's a lot of rat feces everywhere. Got our internet finally set up as a Last a couple days ago. A few days. Finally got internet figured out. So we can watch TV. We, we haven't had TV for this whole time. We ran out of data last month and we looked into unlimited data. We looked into a lot of different options. We'll go into that into some detail in another vlog. But we have internet. Good day. Got everything moved into our house now. We kind of got a routine going. We got a new oven. We took out there was an old convection oven from the 70s in here that didn't work anymore, so we took that out and put in a new little toaster oven, which is pretty big for a toaster oven. It can fit a 9 by 13, which is nice. So we got a tiny little oven, we got a stove top for cooking, and then we also have a barbecue that's outside the bus. Still don't have water. We've been living in the bus for just almost a month now and we still don't have running water we're waiting on one part uh should be here next week so hopefully by next week we'll have some running water and we can do dishes and brush our teeth in the bus as of right now we walk outside to the spigot like real live camping we brush our teeth at the hose in the mornings it's fantastic so the reason that we were mia for the last several weeks is because we were spending so much time tearing into the bus fixing a lot of the problems. We had some electrical issues. We got a new converter. Man, we've been just going crazy on this thing. There was a giant rat colony living in this thing. And there was a ton of rat pee everywhere. We spent a lot of that time uh, repairing and fixing and updating, taking a lot of trips to the dump and getting our house sold. Take a look at this. So right now, Katie and I are pretty much tearing this thing apart, going into all the compartments and cleaning everything out. And look at Katie. She is completely rare. There's a couple of rodents that were living inside this thing, so she's got her gloves on and her garbage bag and her headlamp on. She's getting all ready. Oh, there's a whole dang rat's nest. I think there's a whole rat colony. Oh, this is disgusting. How did that make you feel? Like 20 showers. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys something cool that I found. The National Camper Association, National Camper Hiker Association. Old flag. One was Mount Vernon Far West Regional. <laughs> and then I found another one, which is the NCHA, which is I'm assuming the National Camper Hiker Association retiree. Found one more flag that was pretty fun. And this was Fly Nation. It's got a patch on there. Pretty sweet. Uh, the other thing I figured out was I did figure out how to get the awning out. Now, there's no instruction manual when you get a 1957 bus that's been converted. So, so it's all just kind of play and push buttons and try it out and see what happens. But we're digging into it. I'm screwing this onto this. I'm gonna disinfect the floors with this smelly stuff. Cause there's rat pee and poop smell still lingering. this lazy Susan right here. Uh, look at all the treasures I found. That's an old stove top, orange jello, garlic powder. I have no idea what this is. This jar of who knows what rusty tomato sauce and Tim's Cascades potato chips. Okay, so we've been sitting at the dump for 
over an hour now and see the line behind me of all these trucks. I don't know how many of you guys have been to a dump before, but it's quite an interesting sight. They weigh you on your way in and then they weigh you on your way out. And then you pay for the amount of weight that you dumped. So we finally made it into the dump. We found out what was taking so long to push the line back, take all the trash and make more room to put more in. Here we are. Big mountain of stinky, stinky trash. All right, I'm gonna go help Josh unload and we are out of here two hours later. All right, thanks guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Tune in next week. We're gonna go a little bit more in depth with the tour. We're gonna show you a lot of the things that we've been updating, a lot of the cool parts about the bus that we haven't really dug into yet. Um, but we will definitely have some more updates coming soon and sooner than later. Yeah, good yeah. outro. Yeah. See you next week. See you next week. All right, we'll see you next week. See you next week. See you next week. Pew. No. See you next week. See you next, next week. week. Wait, no. Again. Let's try it again. See, see you, you next, next week. week. See you next week. No, no. <laughs> Just say ready. See you next week. Pretty. See, see you next week. week. That was a good one. <laughs> All right. Okay. Bye-bye.